So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. How are you reading this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too. But certainly, if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude then you can be very positive about this team and we're underway played in with accuracy And it's played forward. And that's been levered clear. Drives it towards the front. This could fall anywhere. Loses his balance and loses the ball. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. And now the breakaway. Gets it back, and back to base. Diego Souza. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Yeah, and he's just entered the last chance saloon. Has a hit! Oh, that is rather wayward. minutes till half time just brushed off the ball there did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger tries to get it forward quickly forward it goes pinged forward Chance to break. Oh, good interception. He's off on a marauding run. Turns and goes back. Oh, and with that, the half-time whistle goes. Chapecoense fell to capitalise in stoppage time, so we are as we were. Chapecoense head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Quite a major game. By the team very further forward than they were when they started out. The action has already resumed here. So, deadlock still as the second half begins. Good challenge, he just stood firm. 
hoists it forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Diego Souza. Tries to get it forward quickly. No position to make that interception. Diego Souza. Hoists it forward. Over hits and out of play. Botafogo are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Uh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Forward it goes. Got the ball glued to his feet. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. It's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Oh, it's a searing run, he is a man on a mission! Botafogo merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Tries to locate someone up front. Played out to the right. Beautifully done. Listen, didn't it? Shoots! Oh, that was no routine save. Oh, that's a sparking save. Absolutely sparking. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Diego Souza desperately wants to get on the end of this. Diego Souza tries to dink it in. And there goes the final whistle. And it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defence is largely untroubled. It's goals.